So just doing a quick uh, update vlog. Um, we're up to like 155 likes. Holy cows, this is patrons only um, for the first like week. Um, to explain to you guys a little bit more on the benefits. Patrons only get the access to the vlogs about a week ahead of time. Uh, $5 and up gets access to the actual content, I would say probably three days before everyone else. Um, and that's the video content. I'm still deciding on what I'm going to do about the audio, um, the audio podcast. I may just release that uh, on the official release of the video content as well. Uh, but we're up to 155 likes, and I actually did an interview with Doug Cameron today with my phone. Uh, it was definitely my first interview. That's how it went. Uh, so I kept like violently dropping my camera on accident. Like I went to pick it up and it caught the bottom of the table, like the strap did, and it dropped like boom, my camera. And Doug just looks at me and goes, you're going to break that, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. Um, so there was that. Uh, watching Doug try to put on a lavalier microphone was probably the most entertaining part of my day. Uh, <laughs> he like almost took his whole shirt off. I was like, oh god, no. So I think, and I only, I don't, I don't say this to shame Doug. I think Doug is fantastic, and of course he doesn't know. I think it's for me to learn that lesson that I need to be more helpful because when I first saw that, I was like, oh, I don't know if I should help. Yeah, I definitely need to help people put on their lav mics. But uh, the other thing is, great news is we have more interviews lined up. So so we've got Doug. Uh, Friday is going to be Steph Dillon at Casey's. Monday is going to be Crosby. Um, and I'm going to interview him at the coffee shop. Um, the following Friday is going to be uh, Joey Polly Eye. And we're going to interview at Polly Eyes when it's empty, which is going to be, like scenery-wise, is going to be a lot of fun. And then we're going to interview uh, Noga from uh, the Saints Rest movie. We're going to interview her after the premiere at Grinnell College that Saturday night, uh, which is really dope. Um, super excited. I got lots of questions for each of them. The interview with Doug was great, super informative, learned a lot about him. Uh, so for me, that's the best part of this project is learning about people, um, getting to know these people a lot better. Uh, and then um, I ran into a few issues. So one, uh, I really need a smaller tripod. So I'm probably gonna buy that because I think I can still dip into some of that money uh, that I have left over that I saved up. Um, I'm gonna buy like a smaller tripod that I can set on tables or maybe one that can go as small as tables but tall and long. So that way I can put my camera and my phone on some tripods um, because that was a serious struggle. Uh, my phone, so my phone recorded the first half of my interview with Doug great, uh, and then only recorded a minute and a half of the second half of my interview. But luckily I had the instinct where I was like, I need another angle. So there's a lot of people walking in front of my phone on the first take, so you're gonna get a lot of bodies walking through. Uh, and then the second half of the interview, I, I set my other camera up, pointing up at Doug, uh, and it shot in 1080p. Um, so I got a different angle of Doug's face, but it's really, like it's from, from down up, so it's a really awkward angle. Um, and I was just really just using it as uh, extra footage for when people are crossing through the camera. So I have the whole interview filmed. I'm probably still gonna do 720p so I can kind of zoom in because I need to zoom in and tilt that footage so that it doesn't look as tilted. Uh, and then the other footage, I want to zoom in more on Doug's face, and I need to do some color correction. I learned about color correction today while making the intro for Face in the Grinnell, and I think I can make that work. So I'm really excited. Uh, things are coming along, guys. I'm getting things organized. Uh, we're going to have a lot of content coming out here soon. Uh, everything's looking great, uh, sounding great. I'm learning a lot about editing, uh, which is really, really fun. Um, filming a lot of b-roll uh, walking around town uh, having some really good footage so uh, guys you know thank you for your support um, whether you're sharing or liking things or if you're actually contributing to the project financially or if you're just following and watching uh, even that is helpful we're up to 155 likes today a poly eyes 
shared our post or shared our page on their thing, which was so cool. Um, I got so excited. I was like, I lost my damn mind. I was like, oh my God. Um, Joey told me he's going to do it, but I'm still really, really excited. Um, that's kind of the magic of this project is the more that you do with people, the more they're going to, uh, it's going to grow your audiences because you're connecting with people who are already connected to those people and then it's going to grow and then they're going to want to get to know more people. So this project's growing. Um, my next goal, so I'm up to 155 likes. I would love to get up to 500. We'll see how long that takes. Uh, <laughs> Because I was kind of wondering how poly eyes would do. They got me about 25 likes in a day. Uh, no, 30. 30 likes in a day. Uh, they have like 7,000 followers. So I was like wondering if it was going to be one of those things where I had over 1,000 likes. By the end of the day, I did. Uh, got my expectations a little high. Not sad or disappointed. Um, I just understand like that was that was not going to not gonna blow up. So it helped me kind of like stay humble, stay real. Uh, so I'm gonna go home tonight. I'm gonna spend some time with my wife. I'm gonna put this vlog up. This is gonna be tomorrow. You're probably, probably gonna see this Thursday. Um, I'm gonna try and get content for Doug's video edited out. Uh, hopefully I can post Friday for you guys. Maybe it'll have to be Monday. We'll see. Um, but I have so much stuff coming out here soon and it's gonna be super fast. I'm gonna try and release once a week. Uh, so some of the stuff you might not see super right away, but um, keep in touch, keep keep in tune, guys. Um, share stuff out. Share it out, guys. Uh, enjoy it. So uh, thank you guys so much. This is just a vlog update for what's been going on. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.